peak of flu season has just begun. Cases are on the rise across the country and especially here in Alabama. The CDC warns it's only going to get worse. Our Mary Stackhouse has more on how you can stay protected this season. So this is the latest snapshot of flu activity across the U.S. according to the CDC. And Alabama is one of nine states reporting high flu activity levels. Dr. Ali Hassan is an infectious disease physician at Huntsville Hospital. In our area in Alabama, over the last 10, 14 days, we've seen some increase. He says more cases of flu are expected in the next few weeks. Flu season peaks between December and March. 11 pediatric flu deaths have been reported this season. Here is who Dr. Hassan says is most at risk for the flu. The pregnant patient, uh, those on chemotherapy, elderly above 65, and then the younger ones below one or two year old, they usually much more risk of complications. This season, the predominant strain is the H1N1. It's said to be less aggressive than the H3N2, which was dominant last year. Doctors say it's not too late to get a flu shot. It takes about two weeks for it to become effective after it's been given. A flu shot is going to be helpful even this time of the year. So if you didn't get it, you better get it. If you get it now, it's going to uh, give you some um, prevention uh, for the flu. Even if you get the flu, you probably reduce the chance of severe infections. Along with a flu shot, doctors recommend that you're diligent about hand washing, that you don't put your hands in your mouth or around your face, and that if you sneeze, do it in the crook of your elbow. Putting the Valley first, Mary Stackhouse, WZDX News. Health officials also say to stay home if you're sick to prevent it from spreading. To learn more about flu prevention, just head over to the Rocket City Now app, which can be downloaded from the App Store on your cell phone.